Here's how to capture a screenshot on both your phone and your computer. I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy, and for all the tricks you need to know, head to cyberguy.com. That is where you can sign up for my free newsletter. If you've got an iPhone, taking a screenshot is as simple as briefly clicking down on the side power button and the top volume button at the same exact time. If you have an older model of iPhone that has a home button, tap the home button and the power button at the same time. The screenshot will automatically go to your camera's gallery, or you can tap the preview of it and mark it up and send it to a contact before tapping done and selecting if you want to save it or delete it. If you want to capture multiple pages of something or a long web page, take a screenshot and tap the preview, then tap full page. Now you'll be able to scroll the entire page and mark it up or crop it if you'd like. Then tap done and click save PDF to files. If you've got an Android, most devices take a screenshot by pressing down the side power key and the volume down key at the same time. It'll save to your gallery, or you can tap the preview like this and open it in one of your photo apps like your phone's gallery or Google Photos. There you can add text or drawings to it or just simply send it to someone. To capture a longer screenshot on Android, take a screenshot the same way and tap this button right here, which is the Capture More icon. Tap it as many times as you'd like to extend the screenshot to include more of the page until you're happy with it. It'll automatically save to your gallery. On a Mac computer, you can either take a screenshot of the whole screen by tapping Command, Shift, and 3 at the same time, or if you want, you can just select which portion of the screen you want to capture, tap Command, Shift, 4, and a box will appear where you can draw which area to screenshot. This will automatically save the image to your desktop. On a PC, your computer likely comes with a button that says PRTSC. Have you seen that one? It means print screen. If you tap this, a copy of your screenshot is now on your computer's clipboard. You can then paste it somewhere like an email or into an application like a Word document. You can also use the Snipping Tool app, which comes pre-installed. Tap New, then you can draw a shape to create a screen snip. Once you've drawn where you're screenshotting, it'll appear as an image on your screen, which you can save to your device or send it to someone. For more tips on how to use your devices a lot easier, head to cyberguy.com and sign up for my free newsletter.